The Duchess of Edinburgh is believed to be one King Charles' secret weapons after many of her recent trips have gone under he radar. The 58-year-old has taken on more important visits in the past few years but these have gone fairly unnoticed as publicity has fallen on more senior members of the royal family. Sophie recently carried out a four-day visit to Iraq to raise awareness surrounding the challenges that Iraqi women and girls face. Get the latest royal news straight to your phone by joining our WhatsApp community. The trip, which was previously unannounced, was kept under wraps for security reasons. It was carried out at the request of the Foreign, Commonwealth, and Development Office, in support of the Women, Peace and Security Agenda WPS, as stated by the Palace. The Daily Mail's diary editor Richard Eden wrote in his Palace Confidential newsletter about the little coverage that Sophie gained on her recent visits particularly the one to Iraq. Eden wrote, It was an important visit, but attracted very little media coverage, partly because the government didn't want to publicize it until after it had happened, for security reasons. Royal Family Live Harry and Meghan celebrate Princess Lilibet's second birthday Eden went on to point out another trip that Sophie made last year that, in turn, also received little attention. He wrote, when Sophie became the first royal to visit South Sudan in 2020 and the first to the Democratic Republic of the Congo last year, her trips received similarly little attention. Last month, Sophie's four-day Iraq visit included two days in Baghdad. During those two days, Sophie continued her work of championing the survivors of conflict-related sexual violence. King Charles breathing sigh of relief after Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's U-turn despite the Foreign Office typically advising against travel to the majority of provinces in Iraq. Sophie was able to spend time in a high school where she spoke to students and teachers about education for young women in the country. As well as speaking to women there about their wishes and hopes for the future ahead, Sophie also visited a family planning center in the country. Sophie was able to look into how women are supported for their reproductive health in Iraq. Sophie? who joined the royal family in 1999, isn't the only member of the firm to have visited Iraq, with the now king visiting in 2004. Charles, who was then Prince of Wales, visited military personnel in Basra. Two years later, at the age of 85, the late Prince Philip also made a surprise visit to Basra to visit British troops 